Hey, this is Brian Culver Rubius. In this video, we're going to talk about bullets and numbered lists in Google Documents. So what I'm going to show you works in Google Docs. Most of this also works in Google Slides. To begin, I'm going to start by typing in our document to create a list. So after I put in a line, hit enter. So over here we have numbered list and we have bulleted list. I'm going to start with bulleted list. So I click this and it adds a bullet. After I enter my first row, hit enter it'll automatically insert another element in the list. If I want to indent the list, if I press tab, it'll move it over one level. Again, I can enter in items, hit enter in between. Now, if I want to go back to the previous level, I hold down shift and hit tab, and the cursor moves up one level. Again, I'll add a couple more. If I want to stop adding to my list, I hit enter, to go to a new line and hit enter again to leave the list. And here I can begin typing in the document as normal. Now suppose I want to add a numbered list. From where I have my cursor, I can click on numbered list to create the number one, the first item in the list, and then begin adding items. Again, like with the bulleted list, I can hit tab to indent one level. And if I hold shift tab, I can go up one level. I can switch between the types of list by highlighting the text that I want to affect and then clicking on the other list type. So here I can go from numbered list to a bulleted list or back to a numbered list. If you click the drop down arrow, you see you have different types of lists that you can select from. So you can quickly switch between the types of lists that are available. And then I'll do the same up here with a bulleted list. So you have different types of bullets put check boxes, stars, and dots, that kind of a thing. Now, if you want something very specific, if you click on the bullet and then right click, you can select a specific type of icon. Or if you select more bullets, you'll see this insert special characters dialog box. And from here, you can pick pretty much any character in the system, uh, including interesting emojis. Now let me show you how the ruler works with this. Along the top of your document, you're gonna see this numbered ruler bar. If you don't see that ruler, that's okay. Click on view and then check the show ruler option. That'll view or hide the ruler at the top. If you click on a column of bullets or numbers, you'll see that you have a blue dash that shows up and a blue arrow. The blue dash allows you to control the left indent of the bullets. The triangle allows you to control the left indent of the wording. So you can control how far the word is indented with the bullets, or you can use the line to just control where the bullets go, thus allowing you to control how close or far the bullet is away from the wording. So just to show that again, you can use the blue line to move the bullets and then use the arrow to move the bullets and the text to control how far indented they are. That works also with sub items. So you can control sub items and be very particular about how close or how far away they are uh, and how everything is presented in your document. So everything I'm showing you in Google Docs also applies to Google Slides. You can click to add or remove bullets to your to your Google Slide document. If you highlight some lines of the text and then hit tab, you can control how they're indented. One interesting thing you can do, if you click on this bullet and click it again, you'll select just the one bullet. Right click, click more bullets, and then from there you can pick a custom emoji or a custom symbol, which can let you add a little flair to your slideshow. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Let me know if I can help.